Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on basic functions in C++. To show code examples we'll be using rextester.com which is a free online app that allows you to create and test your code without having to download anything. The language again is C++ and we'll be using GCC rather than the other varieties. If you haven't already done so, please check out the link in the description for a free 10 hour course. It's a fantastic course that has everything you need to start coding. You can also learn more about us and take more courses at mammothinteractive.com. Again, a link is provided in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, functions are the parts of code that actually do something. They carry out a task. And they consist of three main parts. I'll write these in comments. So anything in comments is ignored by the compiler here. So the three parts are return type, function name, and any parameters that the function takes in. So let's begin by explaining each of these parts. So the return type will be any type of variable that the function is returning, such as an integer or a string. The function name is just whatever name we want the function to be, but different from objects, function names are usually verbs. They usually do something. And the parameters are what the function takes in and usually modifies them somehow, such as adding them together, subtracting them if they're integers, perhaps adding one string onto another. Let's take a look at an example now. So, let's have this function return an integer. We'll call this function return int, and it will take in an integer. Let's just call this integer a. So right now we have our return type as an int. We have the name as return int. Parameter is an integer a. And all we'll do is we'll just return a. So basically all this function is doing, it's kind of a useless function really, is taking in an integer and returning it. So we'll call this function in main. We'll create an integer. Let's call this integer i. And we'll have it be the result of return int. Let's just tell return int to take in maybe a 5. And instead of outputting hello world, we'll get the main function to print out the result of return int called on the number 5. So we'll scroll down to the bottom. We'll click run it. And the compiler recognizes everything properly, and the console prints out 5, which is exactly what we want it to do. Now, this is a pretty useless function, so let's make a function that does something more useful. Let's call this function add int. So it will take in an integer a, and it will take in an integer b, and it will return the sum of the two, which will be another integer. We'll just set the function up. So what we want to do here is we want to create another integer. Let's call this c. And we want to have integer c be the sum of a and b. Because our function is going to just take in these two integers and add them together. And then return the result of the two additions. So we'll have a plus b. So now here we have an integer c, and it's basically just the result of a plus b. Now we'll have the function return c, so that it outputs the result. And let's see if everything's working correctly. We'll create an integer j, and we'll have this call be the result of calling add int on let's say 3 and 4. 
Now we want to print out J. Separate this by a space to make it easier to see. And if all goes well, this function will add 3 and 4 to make 7. We'll store 7 in this variable J, and it will print out the result of J, which will be 7. Let's go down and run it. And as we see, 7 appears in the console. So we know this function is working correctly. Now, let's design a string function. Let's have this function return a string. We'll call this combine strings. And so basically we just want this function to take in a couple of strings. So let's have string A and we'll have string B. So very similar to above in this function, we'll create another string. Let's call this combined. And basically what combined will be is just the result of A plus B. Now I know this seems a little weird, but you can actually add strings like this. Very similar to adding integers. So what this will do is it will take one string and it will just attach the second string directly behind it. And we just want this function to return combined, which is the result of string A and string B being combined. Or if you want the compute science word, that's called a concatenation. So let's see this function in action. So we'll have to create a string. We'll call this string, you know what, let's just call it something simple like k. And we'll say this is the result of combine strings. And let's have the two strings mammoth and we want a space because the function will put one string directly behind the other and we'll have the second string interactive. So hopefully let's just run over this again we're creating a string k and it should be the result of combined strings called on mammoth and interactive. So if all goes well, we should see mammoth and interactive combined in the proper order. So let's scroll down to the bottom and we'll hit run it. And as you can see, the console prints out mammoth interactive. Brilliant. Now let's get into one final and a little more complicated function. So this function will, re will involve if statements. Let's have this one return an integer and we'll call this function greater. So let's have it take in two integers, integer a and integer b. And basically what I want this function to do is just to tell me which of these two integers is larger. Now how we do that is we have to create an if statement. So we start off with an if and then our condition is Let's start off by asking if A is greater than B. And if that is the case, we want to return A. So what this particular statement is doing is it's comparing A and B. It's saying if A is greater than B, we want to return A because we're returning the greater of these two integers. However, what if A is not greater than B? What if A is equal to B? Well, let's just create the clause. Let's just say else return B. So this basically covers all other options. So this could be if B is equal to A or if B is greater than A. So again, this function taking in two integers two integers in its parameter. It is comparing the two. If A is greater than B, we run to return the greater of the two. And if it's not, then we'll return the other one. 
and our result will be the greater of the two. So let's call this in our main function. We'll create another integer. Let's call this L. And we want this to be the result of greater on, let's say, 10 and 8. So ideally, this will call the greater function on 10 and 8. It will compare 10 and 8, and it will store the greater of these two in L. So let's just do that now. We'll call L. Scrolling down to the bottom, we'll click Run It again. And we get the output 10, which is exactly the result we wanted. All right, this has been our tutorial on basic functions. Play around with these and have some fun. And uh, please like the video, subscribe, and feel free to share any feedback in the comments below. Again, there's a link to a free 10-hour course in the description. It's an excellent course, and I urge you to try it out. See you next video.